The Cimmerians also Cimmerians, Greek, Cimmerioi, Cimmerioi, were an Indo-European people, who appeared about 1000 BC and are mentioned later in 8th century BC in Assyrian records. They are believed to have been of either Iranian or Thracian origin, or at least to have had an Iranian ruling class. Probably originating in the Pontic steppe and invading by means of the Caucasus, they are likely to be those who in c. 714 BC assaulted Urartu, a state in northeastern Anatolia subject to the Neo-Assyrian Empire. They were defeated by Assyrian forces under Sargon II in 705 and turned towards Anatolia, conquering Phrygia in 696 fifths. They reached the height of their power in 652 after taking Sardis, the capital of Lydia, however an invasion of Assyrian-controlled Anshan was thwarted. Soon after 619, Aliades of Lydia defeated them. There are no further mentions of them in historical sources, but it is likely that they settled in Cappadocia. <inaudible> Origins The origin of the Cimmerians is unclear. They are mostly supposed to have been related to either Iranian or Thracian-speaking groups which migrated under pressure of the Scythian expansion of the 9th to 8th century BC. According to Herodotus, the Cimmerians inhabited the region north of the Caucasus and the Black Sea during the 8th and 7th centuries BC, i.e., what is now Ukraine and Russia. Although they have not been identified with any specific archaeological culture in the region, a recent DNA analysis of three Cimmerians indicate. The appearance of East Asian haplogroups in the steppe populations might be associated with the Iron Age nomads, starting with the Cimmerians. The authors found it noteworthy that the oldest of the Cimmerians studied here CIM 357 carried almost equal proportions of Asian and West Eurasian components, resembling the Paziriks, Aldi Bell, and Iron Age individuals from Russia and Kazakhstan. The second oldest Cimmerian CIM 358 was also the only one with both uniparental markers pointing toward East Asia. The Q1*Y chromosome sublineage of QM242 is widespread among Asians and Native Americans and is thought to have originated in the Altai Mountains. It has previously been identified in numerous ancient samples from Siberia, the Americas, and in representatives of the Siberian Bronze Age and nomadic populations. This is the first indication that Cimmerians did not originate in the PCs region but were nomads tracing their origin to the Far East. Archaeology The supposed origin of the Cimmerians north of the Caucasus at the end of the Bronze Age loosely corresponds with the early Coban culture northern Caucasus, 12th to 4th centuries BC, but there is no compelling reason to associate this culture with the Cimmerians specifically. There is a tradition in archaeology of applying Cimmerian to the archaeological record associated with the earliest transmission of Iron Age culture along the Danube to Central and Western Europe, associated with the Cernogorivka 9th to 8th centuries and Novoserkask 8th to 7th centuries between the Danube and the Volga. This association is «controversial» or at best conventional, and is not to be taken as a literal claim that specific artifacts are to be associated with the «Cimmerians» of the Greek or Assyrian record. The use of the name «Cimmerian» in this context is due to Paul Reinach, who in 1925 postulated a «North Thracian Cimmerian cultural sphere». Nordthrakish Kimmerischer Kulturkreis overlapping with the younger Hallstatt culture of the Eastern Alps. The term Thraco Cimmerian Thraco was first introduced by I. Nestor in the 1930s. Nestor intended to suggest that there was a historical migration of Cimmerians into Eastern Europe from the area of the former Shrubna culture, perhaps triggered by the Scythian expansion, at the beginning of the European Iron Age. In the 1980s and 1990s, more systematic studies by whom, of the artifacts revealed a more gradual development over the period covering the 9th to 7th centuries, so that the term, thraco cimmerian is now rather used by convention and does not necessarily imply a direct connection with either the Thracians or the Cimmerians. <laughs> Assyrian records Sir Henry Layard's discoveries in the royal archives at Nineveh and Kala included Assyrian primary records of the Cimmerian invasion. 
These records appear to place the Cimmerian homeland, Gamur, south rather than north of the Black Sea. The first record of the Cimmerians appears in Assyrian annals in the year 714 BC. These describe how a people termed the Gimiri helped the forces of Sargon II to defeat the kingdom of Urartu. Their original homeland, called Gamur or Ushdish, seems to have been located within the buffer state of Manet. The later geographer Ptolemy placed the Cimmerian city of Gomara in this region. The Assyrians recorded the migrations of the Cimmerians, as the former people's king Sargon II was killed in battle against them while driving them from Persia in 705 BC. The Cimmerians were subsequently recorded as having conquered Phrygia in 696–695 BC, prompting the Phrygian king Midas to take poison rather than face capture. In 679 BC, during the reign of Esarhaddon of Assyria r. 681 BC, they attacked the Assyrian colonies Cilicia and Tabal under their new ruler Tushpa. Esarhaddon defeated them near Hubushna and they also met defeat at the hands of his successor Ashurbanipal. <laughs> Greek tradition A people named Kimerioi is described in Homer's Odyssey 11.14 c. late 8th century BC, as living beyond the Oceanus, in a land of fog and darkness, at the edge of the world and the entrance of Hades, according to Herodotus c. 440 BC, the Cimmerians had been expelled from their homeland between the Tyras and Tanae rivers by the Scythians. Unreconciled to Scythian advances, to ensure burial in their ancestral homeland, the men of the Cimmerian royal family divided into groups and fought each other to the death. The Cimmerian commoners buried the bodies along the river Tyras and fled across the Caucasus and into Anatolia. Herodotus also names a number of Cimmerian kings, including Tugdom Ligdamus in Greek, mid-7th century BC, and Sandakshatra late 7th century. In 654 BC or 652 BC, the exact date is unclear, the Cimmerians attacked the kingdom of Lydia, killing the Lydian king Aegis and causing great destruction to the Lydian capital of Sardis. They returned ten years later during the reign of Aegis' son Ardes, this time they captured the city, with the exception of the citadel. The fall of Sardis was a major shock to the powers of the region. The Greek poets Callinus and Archilochus recorded the fear that it inspired in the Greek colonies of Ionia, some of which were attacked by Cimmerian and Traer's raiders. The Cimmerian occupation of Lydia was brief, however, possibly due to an outbreak of plague. They were beaten back by Aliades. This defeat marked the effective end of Cimmerian power. The term Gimiri was used about a century later in the Behistun inscription. C. 515 BC as an Assyro-Babylonian equivalent of Persian Saka Scythians. Otherwise, Cimmerians disappeared from the historical record. Topic: <inaudible> Legacy. In sources beginning with the Royal Frankish Annals, the Merovingian kings of the Franks traditionally traced their lineage through a pre-Frankish tribe called the Sicambri or Sigambri, mythologized as a group of Cimmerians, from the mouth of the Danube River, but who instead came from Gelderland in modern Netherlands and are named for the Sieg River. Early modern historians asserted Cimmerian descent for the Celts or the Germans, arguing from the similarity of Cimmeri to Cimbri or Cimmeri. The etymology of Cimmero, Welshman, plural, Cimmeri, connected to the Cimmerians by 17th century Celticists, is now accepted by Celtic linguists as being derived from a Brythonic word kom brogos, meaning compatriot. The Cambridge Ancient History classifies the Maeotians as either a people of Cimmerian ancestry or as Caucasian under Iranian overlordship. The biblical name, Gomer, has been linked by some to the Cimmerians. According to Georgian national historiography, the Cimmerians, in Georgian known as Gimiri, played an influential role in the development of the Colchian and Iberian cultures. The modern Georgian word for hero. Gamiri G. Miri, is said to derive from their name. It has been speculated that the Cimmerians finally settled in Cappadocia, known in Armenian as Gamurk, Gamur K, the same name as the original Cimmerian homeland in Manay. It has also been speculated that the modern Armenian city of Gumri, Arm, Gumri Jumi, founded as Kumairai Arm, Kumairai derived its name from the Cimmerians who conquered the region and founded a settlement there. Topic. Language Only a few personal names in the Cimmerian language have survived in Assyrian inscriptions. 
Teush pa, according to the Hungarian linguist Janos Harmata, it goes back to Old Iranian Tavis Paya, swelling with strength. Mentioned in the Annals of Esarhaddon, has been compared to the Hurrian war deity Teshub, others interpret it as Iranian, comparing the Achaemenid name Tespis Herodotus 7.11.2. Doug Dam May Doug Dam king of the Uman Manda nomads appears in a prayer of Ashurbanipal to Marduk, on a fragment at the British Museum. According to Professor Harmada, it goes back to Old Iranian Du Gamma Damaya, giving happiness. Other spellings include Dugdami, and Tugdam. Edwin M. Yamauchi also interprets the name as Iranian, citing ascetic Tux Domeg, ruling with strength. The name appears corrupted to Ligdamus in Strabo 1.3.21. Sandaxatru, son of Dugdam. This is an Iranian reading of the name, and Manfred Meyerhofer points out that the name may also be read as Sandakoru. Meyerhofer likewise rejects the interpretation of with pure regency as a mixing of Iranian and Indo-Aryan. Ivanchik suggests an association with the Anatolian deity Sanda. According to Professor J. Harmata, it goes back to Old Iranian Sanda Kuru, splendid sun. Kur, Kuru is still used as sun in the Kurdish languages, and in modified form in Persian as Kor, for the male offspring of horses, some researchers have attempted to trace various place names to Cimmerian origins. It has been suggested that Cimmerium gave rise to the Turkic toponym Kurum which in turn gave rise to the name Crimea. Based on ancient Greek historical sources, a Thracian or a Celtic association is sometimes assumed. According to Carl Ferdinand Friedrich Lehmann Haupt, the language of the Cimmerians could have been a missing link between Thracian and Iranian. Timeline 721–715 BC – Sargon II mentions a land of Gamar near to Urartu. 714 – Suicide of Rus's eye of Urartu, after defeat by both the Assyrians and Cimmerians 705 – Sargon II of Assyria dies on an expedition against the Kalumu. 695 Cimmerians destroy Phrygia. Death of King Midas. 679 678 Gimiri under a ruler called Tushpa invade Assyria from Hubushna. Cappadocia? Esarhaddon of Assyria defeats them in battle. 676 674 Cimmerians invade and destroy Phrygia, and reach Paphlagonia. 654 or 652 Yigas of Lydia dies in battle against the Cimmerians. Sack of Sardis, Cimmerians and Traers plunder Ionian colonies. 644 Cimmerians occupy Sardis, but withdraw soon afterwards. 637 to 626 Cimmerians defeated by Aliades. Topic. See also. List of kings of the Cimmerian Bosporus, including early kings of Cimmeria References Sources Boardman, John, Edwards, IES The Cambridge Ancient History. Volume 3. Part 2. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0521227178. Retrieved March 2, 2015. Ivanchik A.I. Cimmerians and Scythians. 2001. Taranashkin A.I. Cimmerians, Kiev, 1983. Cimmerian, 2006. In Encyclopædia Britannica. Retrieved August 30, 2006, from Encyclopædia Britannica Premium Service, http colon slash slash www.britannica.com slash eb slash article dash nine oh eight two six five oh Collection of Slavonic and Foreign Language Manuscripts, St. St. Cyril and Methodius, Bulgarian National Library, http colon slash slash www.nationallibrary.bg slash slaveric underscore n dot html External links Cimmerians by Jonah Lendering Wiki Classical Dictionary, Cimmerians Cimmerians on Regnal Chronologies. Cimmeri. Encyclopædia Britannica. 
6, 11th ed., 1911. p. 368.